Hi. It's been a while. How are you? Good? Great? Bad? Please don't be bad. I hope when you come across this video, you're feeling good. You know, I don't want you to be watching this at a downtime. Wanted to get a little update out because, you know, it's been a while. So just thought I'd update everyone on what I've been up to. Uh, first and foremost, 106 subscribers at the time of this recording. Thank you. Thank you to everyone that has stuck around. I did not think that I would even reach that by the end of the year. I hoped for it, but to think that we're only at half of the year and we've made it, I appreciate that. Uh, this channel is not all about trying to get the most subscribers. It's literally just me making a ton of videos for fun, my photo and video journey, teaching other people my ways of how photography works. To all the 106 people that are directly subscribed to me, thank you. So, what have I been up to? Absolutely nothing. Just work, working, working hard, because I'm a human being, I have a life, I need to live, I need to get money somehow. And photography has just been on the side. It's something I want to do as a career and you know, hopefully push towards it, but I've only brought out my camera a couple of times. You know, you may see I went to Mount Tom Marie last week. I took a photo of a MGB at the All British Day. And there was just a couple others that I did because I can't remember them. Because I didn't take my camera out a lot, it made me miss photography a lot. You know, it wanted me to get out, but I just couldn't find the time. You know, now that I have these weekends freed up, I can spend it with my fiance and we can, you know, go shopping, do whatever we have to do as natural human beings. And yeah, it does make me miss photography a little bit. You know, until this photography career becomes a full-time thing and I'm getting job after job and people want to hire me to take photos for them, you know, I'm still trying to hone in on what I want to take photos of. But when that comes, it'll make me feel better. You know, it's not turning this into a job. It's something that I love doing and I would love to do it as a job because it just lets me take photos pretty much all the time. So that is just the basis of what's been happening over these past few weeks, months that you haven't seen me. You know, there's, it's just been work. And coming up is my birthday and if you've stuck around for long enough or if you've followed me on Instagram, you know around this time I always do something special for my birthday in regards to photography. It's whether I make a photo series or I make a short film or both or whichever. And I didn't know what I was going to do. But I was thinking a few days ago, I wanted to make a reset to my photography. I wanted to kind of start over and realize why I got into this. And that's why for the month of June, 2024, the first month of being 21, I want to shoot everything in black and white. I know, whether that be photos, videos, anything. And for personal, obviously I'll be shooting in color because I've got some you know, things that are coming up that, you know, doesn't need to be in black and white and, you know, I'll keep for my sake. But, you know, in regards to posting on Instagram, putting stuff on YouTube, anything that I share is just going to be in black and white. You know, whether that be digital, film, it's mainly all colour, but we've got some Kenmere 400, Cine still black and white. I've got some more coming on the way that I want to shoot. For me, I just feel shooting on black and white, I won't focus so much on the editing and the colors. You know, I can just focus on composition because everything's just in black and white. And I feel that's where my photography kind of went down. You know, I take these nice photos of this nice landscape and in camera it looks great, but I get this sort of imposter syndrome where I look at all these other photographers and I think, what if I edit it like that? It might look good. And then I do my own sort of type of edit that is inspiration from them. And then I go, cool, that looks good. And then I post it. And then a few months later, I look back at it and I go, that wasn't really 
good. It's not my editing style. Like, I don't have an editing style. I don't even have a photography style. There's no photos of mine that you can just look and go, that's Bentley. Like, I don't have that. And shooting in black and white will let me focus on what I want to capture. The upcoming videos that you'll see in June, if I make any, I'm not saying I will, but just in case, if I do, they'll all be in black and white. I know that may push you guys away, you know, and you all want to see you know, everything in color. You know, that's what we are. We don't want to go back in time. But I feel like this is my personal journey on trying to understand how to get great photos by myself. Everyone may say, but your photos are good, like you don't need that, just shoot color, please, just shoot color. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna listen. This is for my personal, I'm gonna do it. So wish me luck. Instead of ending the video in color, why don't we switch it to black and white? This is gonna be fun. I can feel it. It'll really test me. A great challenge for me. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you for coming in for this quick update. And if I make some videos over June, I'll see you soon. But for now, goodbye. How do I turn this camera off in black and white? <laughs>